Nita Nkonge, BBC News. Indeed, some very grave concerns raised in that piece, and we want to talk about that more. I'm joined in studio by Moses Kemibaro, who's a technology analyst, a blogger, and an entrepreneur. Moses, thanks for speaking with Focus on Africa. So this isn't the first time we've heard of complaints against tech companies and some of the companies they work with to recruit contract workers to filter and make their platform safer. Is it time to talk about eliminating these middlemen companies? Well, I think ultimately they do serve a role. They act as the bridge between those who are going to be the contractors and, of course, the big tech companies that need their services. And we've seen the likes of OpenAI and others have also been using workers in Kenya to do this through the companies that uh, recruit them. So I think on one hand, we people need jobs, people need work to do. Um, and I think the challenge is that when they go into these situations, they don't anticipate or realize some of the risks and possibly the damage that they could experience as a result of doing this work. And I think that's where really we need to start looking at it and saying, do they understand the, uh, the potential risks that exist? What are the potential long-term implications as we saw with this other gentleman? And more importantly, what role can government also play in terms of looking at some of the labor laws and regulations. Because I was actually going to ask you about government. Yes. Surely, I mean, the spotlight is on them in this one. What more can they do to safeguard some of these young people desperate for a job? Here's an opportunity yeah. that they wouldn't uh, easily turn down. I think we need to pay attention. You know, the future of work is basically happening right now. People will work remotely. They'll do this kind of work. And I think the government has a role to play in terms of looking at regulations and also measures that they can take to ensure that these workers are protected and safe in the work they're doing. Is mental health safety a big talking point in the tech sector, in the BPO sector? Are these conversations happening? Absolutely. In fact, globally, these situations are not unique to Kenya. We will see that there are circumstances also in North America, in Europe, where we've also seen implications around doing this kind of work. So it is no way isolated. It's something that's happening globally, and the conversations are happening. What recourse would, like the young man who spoke to Anita in that report, what recourse would they have? Uh, they've lost a part of who they are, and they speak to that in the report. I think the most important thing is right now we're understanding or appreciating these issues and more importantly this is triggering uh, measures and cases and uh, other possibilities going forward. I think the counselling is necessary. I think uh, there's a responsibility that these contracted or subcontracted organisations have to play in making sure that they actually can recover from some of these things. As reports like these come out, and I know you're in the industry, are you hearing of other companies that are subjecting their workers to conditions like this? Could there be more of this happening elsewhere? I think it's happening all over the place. Some organizations may not be as formal as some are. You know, they may not be as well known. But we do know that in this working dispensation that we have today where people are working digitally, there are many instances where people might be doing work that has questionable uh, implications around such situations. And finally, a, a brief tip to anyone out there looking for one of these remote jobs. When should they know, punch out, this is not going to work for me? I think we've got to look at these jobs and say, you know, on one hand, we need Kenyans to have jobs. We need people to be productive but also we need to balance that with understanding what are the potential long-term implications. Okay. Thank you so much. Moses Kemibaro there, just giving some insights. He's a technology analyst, a blogger, and an entrepreneur, helping us understand more about, of course, these remote jobs and the dangers that come with them as well. But we have to wrap up the program for now. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, we can engage more online at Wahiga Mwaura and at BBC Africa and read more about some of our coverage on the BBC Africa website. But from me, Wahiga Mwaura, and the rest of the Focus on Africa team, it's been a pleasure bringing you today's broadcast. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.